Recently, I just started as a level one in GTA Online, but we're only allowed to make money by spinning a wheel to determine what I have to do. So let's see what the wheel has in store for us this episode. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So welcome back to episode three of Loser to Luxury. And currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Moretta Heights salvage yard coming in at $5,420,000 to absolutely max out this salvage yard and currently right now we're sitting on two million seven hundred and ten thousand dollars so we're roughly like halfway there to being able to purchase that salvage yard so let's spin the wheel of quick cash and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to go up to the ls tourist board and take some photos of some animals to make some money and actually this is the best wheel spin off the wheel of quick cash so far there's only four wheel spins but so far this is the best thing off of this wheel all right so now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to begin owing out and yeah all right so we're gonna have to go out and collect ourselves the double action revolver so this is one of the treasure hunts in the game we previously in the season premiere we went out and collected the stone hatchet and there's three total treasure hunts so we've already done the stone hatchet now we're getting into the double action revolver and these are only one time wheel spin so after this episode this wheel spin will be taken off the wheel all right so i'm gonna have to go out and collect a double action revolver but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do something that we haven't done before in any other loser to luxury episodes the previous two seasons this was not a thing but in between last season and this season rockstar introduced a new heist into the game called the club and bell form raid and the good thing about this for our current situation is that we can go ahead and do this right now so yeah we're definitely going to be doing this probably a lot this season of loser luxury all right and i just created this wheel and it's called the wheel of cluck and bell <laughs> don't know what else to call this but anyways there's two options on this wheel there's a silent and sneaky wheel spin and an aggressive wheel spin and whatever it lands on is going to be the approach we're going to have to use for the cluck and bell form raid but let's just spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to have to do this are we going to do this aggressive are we doing this silent and sneaky and it is clearly going to be aggressive all right this is something i haven't even done before i've never done this the aggressive approach so this will be interesting uh to see how this goes all right so we have to go out and collect the double action revolver and then we have to go and start up the cluck and bell farm raid and do it the aggressive approach but first i have to go out and start photographing animals for the ls tour sport so let's get into that all right i finally got the email for the ls tour sport that took me a while uh, Oh, uh, but yeah, we can pull it up. It's a bunch of blah, 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 blah. I've never read this before. Don't care. But you come down here and it gives you a little bit of a checklist. So we essentially have to take photos of three different animals. And pretty much you get $20,000 for every animal you take a picture of. And if you take a picture of all three, you'll get a $40,000 completion bonus. So essentially a total of $100,000 right here. And we have to go out and take a photo of a deer, a pig, and a great cormorant. Uh, honestly, that's not horrible. I'm happy with that. There's a lot of deer around the map, so that should be pretty easy. Um, pigs should just be in the pig pen. So, I mean, they're not really going anywhere. Great cormorant, I feel like I should be able to find, but we'll see. There's some animals that are a lot harder to take photos of. Like, any of the dogs. If you get any of the dogs, like, you're probably, like, screwed, to be honest. Because those dogs are so tough to, like, spawn in for you. Um, but we don't need to mess around with that right now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Where is my dog? deer deer no we'll run to deer at some point oh there's pigs nice nice i had a feeling there was gonna be pigs here all right i just need you pigs to stand still for like a second or just get into frame nice you're in frame cool send it to the ls tourist board and there we go as you can see we made twenty thousand dollars and congratulations to pigs um you did not piss me off you will not be turned into bacon just yet you can keep running around your pen now i gotta find a deer speak of the devil i think that's some deer right there on the other side oh never mind those are stumps cheese like what like why is there just random stumps out here i thought that was like the back of a deer okay thank you game thank you for making me look stupid are any of these birds great cormorants or these crows these look crowy if you ask me oh i'm gonna need to get the birds you know i'm gonna focus my attention on the birds i gotta look up exactly where great cormorant spawns in because i don't want to do this at night oh apparently we're actually pretty close to the great cormorant spawn location according to this youtube video that i just watched i mean there's jeez it just ran to a 
stomp, I swear. Bunch of stupid stumps in the middle of nowhere. Dude, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I forget, like, the exact way a great cormorant flies. Like, you can tell, by the way, some of these birds fly, like, what they are. Like, the way they flap their wings. I completely forgot how the great cormorant does it. Are these deer? Yeah, these are deer, right? Okay, no, they're definitely still, but those are deer. Oh, this is another problem. This is the problem with deer, though. You have to get close. That's a slight problem because they get spooked so easily. So I'm gonna have to like inch my way forward. That's a great photo. Yep, there you go. They took that photo. That's two right there. So that's another 20K. We're now up to level 13. I actually need a photo of a great cormorant, but uh, I don't see any more birds flying in the air, which is a problem. And the sun is setting. Are the birds just sleeping or something? I'm gonna be pissed if they are. Yeah, there's no birds in the sky. Yep, oh my God. I hate nighttime in GTA for multiple reasons. Just stupid, stupid stuff. All right, but here's the problem. I'm still waiting to get an email from something. I forget what. So pretty much tell me to check out a location. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is I have to wait to try to go ahead and start trying to find the double action revolver and try to find all the clues for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a great cormorant. That's a great cor- Oh, I need to get out the car. Shoot, being stupid. Hold on. That's a great cormorant. I, I, this is the reason I came over here. Don't fly away. That's good enough, right? Thank you, game. That is too far away. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm being stupid. There's one right here. You can barely see it because it's dark. Thank you, game. Love the dark. Just love nighttime. But yeah, there's one right here. You can see the beak right there. Yeah, you see it's flapping his wings right there. Yeah, yeah, that's a great cormorant. But there we go. Wow, well, the good thing I was smart and came all the way down here. Yeah. Uh, if you want to know where to find a great cormorant, no matter what time of the day, just come over here, just right below Ford Zancudo in the Lago Zancudo area. They're just chilling around. Uh, you can see your maze bank account has been credited with four. 40k that is the completion bonus and we also collected um an outfit all right there we go we just got the email right there oh my can we just take a moment to look at my character oh no 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 start dancing again yeah thank you yeah i saw you i saw you dance yeah okay my character was bobbing his head in the dude what in the <laughs> what i have never paid any attention to how my character jams out to music and music's muted on my end so i don't know what he's listening you know what? screw it channel x tsoi abolish government silent majority wow okay i don't know that one <laughs> yeah my character really likes that song apparently anyways we need to get to work here uh we finally got the email to get started it's this email right here from vanderlindifind.com so we get a photograph right here to try to help us find where the heck the first clue is there's a yellow question mark now on the map so that is not too far away that's pretty nice so yeah we need to go to that location and try to hunt where the heck that is i think i've gotten this location before i think it's right here i've done it before i've done this before so we'll see how this goes hopefully this goes pretty well all right i'm thinking it's in here somewhere if i remember correctly it should be somewhere in here because you can see the winery on top of the hill let me just refer back to here yeah 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 no this is right this is right i just got to figure out exactly where oh, i found it ah i am so smart thank goodness i got in this location before because i had trouble with this location for another video but here it is treasure tore our family apart it ain't here no mo. I moved it. You lovely people will never find it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I accept the challenge, sir. Uh, so yeah, we have to investigate all the clues to try to find the treasure. So now on our mini map. Yeah, there it is. We get three more yellow question marks. And these are places where we can also search to try to find a clue. Uh, there's one clue that's very close to us right here. But then there's two more in the Sandy Shores and Grapeseed area. So I'm going to start by going to this location over here. All right, so I've made it over. Oh, well, I kind of drove out of it, but we've made it over to where we need to search. Um, Yeah, it's going to be in this cave right here. It's pretty much going to be this guy. Uh-huh, there we go. Uh, so that's one out of three clues discovered. We have two more clues we need to find. So we need to head over pretty much to Alamo Sea on the Sandy Shore side. So let me head that way. All right, so I've made it over to the next location. It's going to be inside of this structure or falling a part structure but it's this thing right here it's a nice round point shovel hmm, hmm, hmm very interesting can't find it no more or whatever i don't know what he said but I, I think we're finding something two out of three clues discovered we need to find one more clue all right so we made it over to the third location the third final location is going to be by this tree and it's going to be an empty gun case and i don't know that kind of looks like a double action revolver if you ask me but there we 
go. Three out of three clues discovered. And now on the map, as you can see, there's a little yellow treasure chest icon. And where is this treasure chest? Okay. I thought it was going to be on top of Mount Chiliad for a second, but it's going to be almost the most northern point on the map, quite literally. So we got to head over there. And pretty much once we make it over there, we'll get ourselves the double action revolver. All right. So we finally made it over. Oh. No, that is not the way I wanted to bounce off of this rock. <laughs> oh my god, my car is smoking, but I don't know if I can even get out of this. Hold on. I don't want to have to walk all the way back to the road because we are in the middle of nowhere. Please, please. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on. Don't be like car. What car is this? Okay, we got it. What car is this? The Zion Cabrio? Bah, no scratches. I don't know what y'all are talking about. There's no scratches on this car. The smoke, ah, uh, that's just a fog machine I just put into the car. Just don't worry about it. It's all good. All right, but anyways, yeah, here's the treasure chest that we were trying to look for. So we need to open up this treasure chest. And what are we going to get? Oh, a ghost is opening it up for us. And ooh, yeah, the game forgot to put in my character. Congratulations. Written apology now. But there we go. We got ourselves a double action revolver. Okay, so we have to get 50 headshots with the double action revolver to unlock a GTA money reward. And this is pretty much the big bulk of how we're going to make money off of this because we still haven't made any money off of what we've done so far. But yeah, we unlock the double action revolver on our weapon wheel. This is going to be another weapon that we just automatically unlock. And oh, I think the last episode I said I had to buy the Perico pistol, but I just get the Perico pistol. But I mean, I'm not using this gun. It's just no. Anyways, yeah, we have to get 50 headshots with the double action revolver, which shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, this might be my new best gun technically, which is kind of sad. Oh, I I also failed to mention that once we do buy our salvage yard, we'll go ahead and purchase our first weapon because we spun a wheel of weapons and we landed on the homing launcher. Um, oh, this is gonna be so sad. I need to get kills. There's just this guy right here walking his dog. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to happen. All right, there we go. 49 more headshots. Where did. Please don't look at that. That didn't happen right there. I'm sorry. That didn't happen. So yeah, I think I'm going to try to get out on the road or somewhere. I might get in downtown Polito Bay. Maybe try to do something. I don't know. Not the best spot for this Polito Bay, but it is what it is. Oh, look, some people. Hold on. They're all just like sitting out and, you know, trying to have a little picnic. Wrong. Sorry, I kind of need you for my challenge. Oh my God. These people are so hard at work right now. Y'all probably don't want to be at your job. It's all right. What? They're not hit. No. I got one of them. That was dumb. I thought it was lined up perfectly. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna have to take out a bunch of cops. Now people are fighting back. Can't handle the heat, huh? All right, there we go. All right, that was our last kill that we had to get. I'll just go down with that guy, apparently. So our account should be credited with $250,000 very, very shortly. And there we go, 250 k in our bank account and me just absolutely eating the asphalt right there. So now we're sitting on $3,057,000. But now it's time for us to go back to the city and start up the Cluck and Bell form raid. All right, so I've made it back to the city and I'm outside of the police station right here. Not for me to go to jail, but for me to start up the Cluck and Bell Farm raid. So we need to head over to this little emblem and we need to start up the Cluck and Bell Farm raid. All right, and here we go. We're starting up with the mission slush fund. Uh, yeah, we had to sit through this pretty long cutscene with Vincent, kind of laying out what's going on right here. All right, so we finally went through that cutscene. So now it's time for us to get into this mission right here. This mission's not horrible, but it's gonna be a little bit more challenging because all we have are just our pistols. So right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to steal a bunch of money so we can go ahead and fund our raid. And yeah, we're gonna have to go inside of here. Um, there's gonna be two guys right there, that guy and that guy um and yeah there's just gonna be money inside of the washing machine and we're just gonna collect it it's pretty much it we're gonna have to go to this location then there's another location all right there we go both of those washing machines have been cleared out let's get out of here all right, all right, all right. You don't have to do that, guy. Try to shoot me from point blank. Yeah, I don't think so, cowboy. All right, anyways, we need to go to the next location, which is not too far away, just a little bit down the road. All right, so we made it to the next location. People are aware that we're attacking now, so I'm gonna have to quickly take out a bunch of people. The good thing we got the double action revolver. It's a little bit better, in my opinion, than the pistol. Not much. I still prefer my automatic weapons, but it's all good. All right, so there's more washing machines that we have to go search through and collect the money for. And then after this, we should be good to go. I think 
think we should have to go to the hideout, which is in the Vinewood area. And yeah, that should be pretty much it. All right, so we've made it over to the hideout. And there we go, mission passed. For these missions, we're not going to be making any money, but we could do it on easy or hard mode. I was going to be doing it on easy mode. Even the finale, we can do on easy or hard mode. It doesn't even make a lot of sense for us to do it on hard mode for the finale because the pay is still the exact same, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they did it like that. Oh, I forgot to say what we're actually like doing for this heist or this raid. So essentially, there's like some suspicion from Vincent that the Cluck and Bell factory up in Polito Bay, they're not really just producing and selling chicken for us to consume. He believes that there's something a little bit fishy going on up there. So we're pretty much going to try to raid that place at some point. All right, so now we're jumping into the next setup, breaking and entering. Okay, for all these setups, we get like a car that we could use, which this is the Declassy Impaler SZ. Anyways, we're going to have to go to a terabyte and a laptop pretty much. So I'm going to head over to the laptop first. We're going to try to get that pretty quickly, then head on over to the terabyte. All right, so we've made it over to Del Perro Pier. Essentially, how we're going to do this is we're just going to shoot the air a little bit. And yeah, there's a red dot on the map and it's going to be from the person that that owns the laptop. At the same time, where is his laptop? Oh, it's right here. Okay, yeah, we were close. All right, nice. We collected the laptop, very nice. So now we need to head over to the terabyte. Okay, so we need to head on over to the terabyte. Um, I've never gotten this location for the terabyte before though, so I have no idea where it's gonna be. Okay, I must be close. I hear the drones. I see the drones. I don't see the terabyte. Huh? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. So yeah, I need to take out the drones. I got stunned. That wasn't cool. What the heck? Oh, wait, no, I'm not using the Perico pistol. I'll just use a normal pistol. How about that? There we go. That drone's down. Maybe normal pistol's a little better for this. Maybe. Okay, yeah, now these drones are shooting at me this time. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Drones, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I have to eat snacks for drones. Okay, are we good? Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay, we need to go click something, which is this thing right here. The hacking device. All right, cool. So let's get out of here. So now Vincent wants us to go ahead and steal a train, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we need to head on over to the cartel compound, which I'm currently on the way right now. We're gonna have to be taking these train tracks, so might as well just ride these train tracks right now. Okay, so we've made it here. Um, They're already shooting at me. I didn't do anything. I just drove on a train track. Nothing suspicious here, but fine. So apparently we need keys to start up a train, so hopefully I find the guy with the key quickly. Oh, okay, that guy had the key. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna make a run for it. Nice. Keys have been collected. So let's head back over to the train. So now we're gonna actually climb into the train, and we're gonna head head on inside of here and we're gonna drive this thing away all right so pretty much we're just driving out of here uh we have to hack some train signals so we can go a little bit faster but nothing too crazy all right and we're making our big breakaway with the train we made it to the tunnel and there we go mission pass so let's head on to the next mission all right, we're jumping into the third setup right here, which is gonna be concealed weapons. Now these next two setups are gonna be very similar to each other, but very different from any other like mission in the game. I'll try to give you a rundown of what we're doing right here. So we need to go collect weapon and gear for our raid that we're about to do. Now this is the part where it gets a little bit confusing. There's three locations on the map right now labeled A, B, and C, but we only need one thing of weapons and gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to go to the location labeled A because it's the quickest one. I'm just going to do the quickest one, but they're not all the same. These locations, I think A is technically the worst, but this thing is not hard. Like overall, this mission is not hard or this raid that we're about to do. So I don't think it's that big of a deal that I'm just going to go ahead and get the worst thing of weapons. Okay, anyways, there's a ton of people shooting at me, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, oh, I picked up an AR. I have 30 shots of AR ammo. That's cool. Oh, I'm going to miss having an AR. Right, anyways, uh, let's click the box so that gave us our weapons so now we need to go search for gear which they're gonna be in the back of these three cars right here these blue cars oh is it always the furthest location away from me for some reason i think it's always this location all right you need to stop shooting at me guy i feel like it's always here yeah okay all right so i just learned that nice so we got the equipment so now we need to deliver the equipment to vincent's lockup all right so we've made it back to vincent's lockup and we have to go ahead and text we have to text vincent we have to check off what weapon and gear we want to use and confirm it right there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's no other missions like this. They completely reinvented the wheel for this mission. And the next one too is gonna be very similar. But there we go, mission passed. Let's move on to the next one. 
All right, so now we're doing the mission Hit and Run. As I said before, it's going to be very similar to that last mission that we just did. So once again, we have to go to either location A, B, or C. I'm going to go to location A once again. And the main reason I'm doing this one is it's pretty much on the way over to where we have to deliver it. We have to deliver the getaway vehicle at the Cluck and Bell factory, like in a garage somewhere. And yeah, location A pretty much is just on the way there. Uh, location A and location C are very similar in the fact it's kind of like a 50 50 shot on whether or not you're gonna get like a pretty good vehicle or a pretty crappy vehicle location b you pretty much always get a pretty fast vehicle but anyways we need to go here they got a few people oh we need to destroy a fuse box where is this oh it's up here duh right there we unlock garage a and we get this vehicle the impaler lx um i don't know how i feel about this but i think it's all right i think it's all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hop onto the train tracks please car thank you uh but now we're just gonna ride the train tracks all the way up to Polito bay all right so we've made it over to the garage this garage right here so we can get out the vehicle text vincent say we're gonna use this impaler lx for our raid uh pretty much yeah all we have to do is just leave the area so i'm just gonna get back on the train tracks and just start driving away all right and there we go mission passed so we have one more setup that we have to get into before we can actually get into the finale all right we're getting into the final setup right here which is going to be disorganized crime and now this setup is actually going to be very very important for us because this is going to determine if we're doing this aggressively or stealthily essentially if you do it a certain way like you wipe out the cctv you don't alert guards and silently take out a few guards then yeah you should be good to go to do it stealthy but we're not doing that. The wheel didn't say so. All right, but there we go. Yeah, I hacked one van. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to hack vans. We could take out the people that are in the vans and we can steal their uniform essentially. So then we can go in without being detected. But I don't really care to do that because we're doing this aggressively. Anyways, second van has been hacked. So now it's time for us to head on to the garage. All right, so we've made it over to the cartel's garage. So now this is where it's all going to get very important. This is the important part. Essentially, what I'm going to do is just do do this loud i don't care i don't care it doesn't really matter all right there we go yeah now we have to take out the witnesses oh my god i'm about to die hold on hold on hold on let me stop goofing around a little bit no, that's not good. That's not what I wanted. It's not. Okay, I probably should have done this part stealthy, but like not taking out the CCTV. That probably would have been smarter by me, but oh well. Okay, we're doing all right now. Ah, uh, there's a drill that we're supposed to be getting somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. There's a drill right there. Yeah, we're gonna need this. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and start drilling. Okay, so it looks like I still have to sabotage the cartel's delivery trucks, which kind of sucks because it would just be so easy just to blow it up, but I don't have any weapons that can blow anything up. Yeah, I've been meaning to go to ammunition and just pick up sticky bombs picking up grenades so i can actually have the opportunity to blow things up oh yeah so right now what we're doing is we're drilling into these lockers and we're trying to find a key card like that that's what we needed that's all we need so we don't need to drill anymore ideally i would like to have just gotten out of here but i still have to go ahead and just rip out a wire in a truck so yeah pretty much what this mission does for the finale is pretty much signaling to the people at the cluck and bell farm they're like hey there's someone onto us and they're trying to sabotage us so yeah when we actually do the final raid they're gonna be on high alert all right so essentially if we'd done it right we would have taken that truck right there or the game would have forced us to take in that truck and take it back to vincent's lockup but now they just want us to leave the area i don't know how far they want me to go all right all right all right all right all right y'all can y'all can calm 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 down calm down i think you think you're cool by being npc shooting me but it's just not oh, i'll have to escape the cartel <laughs> so funny game come on you know i'll just go this way I don't know why I thought that was a collapsible fence. I'll just go this way. I'll just ride the train tracks. I mean, there's pretty much all you have to do this ice. You just have to ride the train tracks. All right, and there we go. We finally got far enough away. And there we go, mission passed. We got $3,000, but that was those bags that we were collecting. That's not for this mission. So now we're ready to go for the finale. All right, yeah, I'm going in and I'm buying myself some explosives. Uh, so yeah, grenades. Yeah, we're gonna buy a lot of grenades. Oh, okay, I guess I bought a pipe bomb too. Cool, didn't mean to do that. Um, Why not? I'll get some proximity mines. I don't know when I'm gonna use a proximity mine and then sticky bombs. Yeah, this is the big one. All right, and there we go. So yeah, now we're gonna have the ability to go ahead and blow things up if we want. Oh, oh, I just remembered. Let me go back. Go back to pistol and when did I? I don't remember buying a suppressor. Did I buy a suppressor? I mean, I'll take it. Okay, never mind. I thought our pistol 
still didn't have a suppressor, but okay. That's good. That's good for when we need to do missions that, you know, we need to do stealthy. But we're not doing this last mission stealthy. The Cluck and Bill Farm Raid, we're doing it aggressively. All right, here we go. We are doing the mission scene of the crime. This is going to be the finale. We entered in on a train and yeah, everyone's already alerted. Okay, so, all right, you just shut the freaking gate on me, guy. That's not cool. Um, how do I get in again? What are you pointing at? Oh, oh, I was looking at a weird angle. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take out a bunch of guys, essentially. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna shoot that. Well, I forgot what's in here. Oh, this is the way I have to go. Oh, I'm so turned around. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're just gonna be shooting our way through. So with our loadout, essentially, we have a compact rifle, a mini SMG, an SMG, and about to be death. For that guy. Oh, and for me. Sorry, I, I was trying to display the weapons I had. That's on me being stupid. Okay, we spawn here. Interesting. Very interesting. Calm. Calm. Dude, these guys need to calm down. Just let me do my thing. I need to take something. Or no, no, no. I need to borrow something. Okay, I need to do a hack. Psych. I had to just swipe my key card. All right, so there's going to be more people I have to take out in here. Nice. Okay. Both of those guys are dead. So let's go ahead. Let's go search these crates. And the two crates that are going to have the things of cola are going to be the two that are closest to the back or furthest away from where you just entered. So there we go. Two things of cola. So now let's go back and let's go collect some more. Dude, yeah, there's so many people. Okay. Yeah. Aggressive mode. It's a little bit annoying because there's more and more people spawn in. Can you poke? Okay, that's a weird way of poking. Yeah, I might run out of snacks. That might be a little bit of an issue. All right, the next location of cola is gonna be in here. So let's head on in here. Yeah, so we just need to go ahead and start collecting these bars of cola. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna be stealing cola, cash. Wasn't something else that we're stealing? I don't even remember. It's been a little bit. I haven't done this too much, to be honest. Yeah, this came out when I was doing my King of Bad Sports series and it didn't make a lot of sense for me to do this during the King of Bad Sports series, but it makes a lot of sense to do it for this series because, well, the wheel landed on it. All Right, there we go. We just stole all the cola. So now we need to exit out of this storage area. Okay, you need, to, you need to give me some space, guy. So now we need to head to the office, which is a little bit further along. All right, all right. Game, game. We need to have a talk. We need to have a talk. Game, we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk, game. Y'all did not have these two men on the map. Mm -mm, that's on you. That is on you. You almost made me die. Luckily, I am too talented. Okay, another guy wasn't on the map right there. Wow, wow. Oh, I forgot. I have to go find a key. Oh, wait, no. I can... Oh, guy, don't shoot me. I didn't do anything wrong. I forgot. You can shoot the door handle. Okay, cool. Okay, so we hacked the office computer now we have a little hacking device thingy oh there we go so yeah we just need to make it towards like some computers essentially uh, this is so weird okay there we go safe code number two it's been acquired okay okay i know the last location last location is right here right okay nice so now let's go back to the office yeah i've only done the cluck and bell farm raid twice ever since it's come out it's been like a month too which is crazy and i have only done it the silent approach uh the aggressive approach i will have to say is very fast pace like you you have no room to just kind of take a breath and kind of relax like you have to be on your a game can i just steal their i can't steal their truck oh they don't have the keys or something all right so we're gonna get in our getaway vehicle and now we're gonna start driving to vincent's lockup we're gonna have to lose the cops at some point um we're gonna drive on the train tracks though this is what i was talking about earlier like the train tracks are so vital for this entire cluck and bell farm raid with some of the setups and the finale now if i was on a normal account where i actually had a car I could like park this car and call that other car in like right around here and then I can just drive away But that's not gonna be the case because I don't have a car I don't have a car to my name right now because right now I'm a loser in loser to luxury So I'm trying to get to that luxurious status, but I need to you know make some money. So here I am All right, so the cops don't see me now, which is good Oh, of course. No, 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 no. That's rigged. That is so rigged. It's not even funny. Yeah, wow. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, that's embarrassing. Written apology for that. Y'all don't even know what happened. Essentially, I was just driving. It, there was like no one on the map as far as cops are concerned. And then a helicopter just appeared out of nowhere. No, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but helicopters do not just spawn out of thin air. I know it's a video game, but like usually y'all have it spawn in like a little bit beforehand though. So, you know, there's like a warning at least. So now I gotta waste more time trying to lose the cops. Oh, never mind. I just lost the cops. So yeah, let's just deliver the loot to Vincent's lockup. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the lockup. And there we go. Mission passed. And we made $500,000 for doing that Cluck and Bell farm raid. But we're also gonna get a first time bonus. And there you go. As you can see, we made an extra $250,000 for doing the first time bonus for the Cluck and Bell farm raid. Yeah, as you 
you can see right here, we completed this, the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. Complete the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid as a leader to earn $250,000. So now we're sitting on $3,777,000. So we still need to make like $1.7 million before we can actually go ahead and purchase the Marietta Heights Salvage Yard. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of Loser to Luxury season number three. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me 1v5 shank in a bounty hunt in GTA Online.